Hi, Aries. So we're not today in Tarot. I'm going to be doing your reading. Before we get started, I want to show you guys some of the new scents that we have for the energy clearing spray that has always been on my website, but now it's kind of revamped with some new scents. And they're on the website for you to shop. We have the lemongrass and sage one. This is the lavender and sage, which I've always had this scent. Um, it's just a new look. All right, so that's Lavender, Sage, Palo Santo, and my favorite one right now, because they probably will change as time goes on, is the Rose and Sage. This is what it looks like. This one is just my favorite because it just has a really beautiful scent and can't stop spraying it. You know, I already sprayed it in um, Aquarius is reading, but I'll spray it again. It smells that good, guys. So if you guys want to check out the new uh, scents for the energy clearing spray that I have, I'm very excited about these. They look beautiful. They smell amazing. Then check out that link in the description box down below. All right, without further ado, we're going to jump into your reading. I did Aquarius already. I, I plan on doing Taurus um, afterward. And I also plan on doing a live reading today. I'm not sure what the topic will be, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see it. So <laughs> let's get started. Let's jump right in. We're doing who, what, where. And we're going to start off with your lifestyle. We're going to do money next, and then we're going to end it off with your love. All right. So let's start off with this lifestyle. All right. So who, who is Eric in their current lifestyle or who is the person that's more, most significant influencing your lifestyle? Okay. So this could be you or someone who's playing that main character energy in your life right now. Who? Who's the big who? Who's the big who in Aries' lifestyle at the time? Influencing Aries' lifestyle. What's the energy of this person? Whether that person is Aries or someone around them. All right, let's see. Oops, okay. Too many cards. <laughs> too many cards. I just need two cards here. Two cards, please, for my Aries. Who? Who is that person? All right. Three of wands. Okay. Three of wands. Could be someone that you are waiting on or someone who's waiting on you. Okay. So it could go either way, but someone definitely is like waiting on you. You're waiting on them. There could be someone waiting for you to come towards them, travel towards them. Um, There could be a little bit of a distance between you and this person. This could also be someone who is needs you, needs your help to navigate their life their lifestyle. So there's someone who could be very dependent on you here with this three of wands. Hmm. I feel like a dependent energy, you know, like this person could be very independent, you know, in other categories, but when it comes to what they need right now or what they want right now, they feel like they rely heavily on Aries. Okay. And I do feel like there is a little bit of a disconnect between you and this person right now with that four of swords, or there's a break here. I do feel like when you are away from this person, you may feel very much of a relief, okay? Because there is this energy of being relied on heavily. Huh. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing, guys. I mean, it can't be a bad thing, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's kind of like you love your little sister, you love your little brother, but when they're around, they're so dependent, and you just have to tell them how to do things and when to do things and you know, like you have to kind of like baby them. And then they, when they don't, when you don't have to babysit them, you have your free time to do what you please. And you, it feels very freeing. It feels like a relief. It feels great. Your mom or your dad is like, hey, you don't have to take your little brother, or your little sister today. You can just go. It's like, really? It's, it's just a like a relief. So even in a different um, situation, if this is someone that you are friends with, this is a sibling or a family member, or this is like a quirker, a boss even, because some of you guys can have bosses where you're like the assistant or you're um, the lower level, but it seems like you're at a higher level because you're so needy. But there is a, uh, this could even be love. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Knight of Cups is here. So again, could be love with that Knight of Cups. Okay. But there's this energy of, okay, you know, mm, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, okay? This is this have to be love with that Nine of Cups. It could just be someone who really is very passionate about you. Like, they appreciate you in their life. They have this strong bond with you and want to do a lot of nice things um, with you and for you, but especially with you. 
Um, but there's this energy of like, hey, don't just wait for me all the time. Do your own thing. Navigate your own path. And Aries, this could be you. Maybe you're a little clingy towards someone at this time. It doesn't seem like a bad thing, guys. It just seems like um, I'm attached at the hip, okay? Because even in this picture with the Knight of Cups, it's like someone is just always third willing. And it could be in love where it's like, hey, I'm just wanting to hang out with my my bestie, my friend today. And it's like, um, but I had to bring babe with me. Or it could be like, hey, I'm just wanting to hang out with my lover, but I had to bring my best friend with me. So it seems a little bit like attach at the hip, like, hello, hold on now. I need my own space. Okay. All right. Let's clarify these quickly. So what's the three of wands for who? Tell me about the three of wands for who? All right. Knight of pentacles. Yeah. So this is definitely someone who is waiting on you. They're very, they're, they they tend to be very patient. Okay. But I feel like they're still waiting. Like someone will just wait, 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 wait. And it's like, okay. Hmm. It's kind of like, okay, you know, sometimes someone can get something done without you. But it's like this person will say, you'll be like, oh, did you get that done, by the way? And you're, they're like, no, I was waiting on you. But it's like, dang, you all this time that passed, because I'm not rushing to you, you could have got that done. So it's like someone is very slow and steady in their own lifestyle, because they're waiting on Aries. I hope that makes sense. With that Knight of Pentacles, give me one more card. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Feeling very left out in the cold while they're waiting for you. So they kind of slow down progress in their own life. Slow down progress in their own day to day because they're waiting for Aries to call or pick up the phone. Well, that's the same thing. Or come through, come around. That they want to hang out. Say they want to go on a date. I don't know. And then what's the Knight of Cups? <laughs> um, is the seven of cups okay? Interesting. And what's on the bottom? King of cups. I definitely feel like whoever this person is, they do have way more options than they let it be known. So, whoever this person who's kind of like clingy, a little bit dependent, um, they definitely have more options than just Aries or Aries. You have way more options than just this person, but they'll choose you every time or you'll choose them every time. It's just a, it's just a thing of like, I favor you and I want to be close with you. I, I, it's almost this energy of like, I wouldn't rather, I would, I wouldn't want to do this with anyone else. I want to do it just with Aries okay? or if this is how you are towards someone. So interesting. Okay. So there's a best friend there's, um, or even just a friend. I don't know how you, you know, I don't know how you would want to introduce this person. There is a family member, a sibling. There could be like a coworker. There could be a boss. There could be a lover of yours that is very attached to your hip. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what is going to be happening in Aries lifestyle coming up. Anything significant happening for my Aries? What's happening in your lifestyle coming up? Ace of Swords. Okay. So there's a real conversation going on. Okay. All right. Let's see. So someone's speaking their mind and it may bring an argument. Five of Wands. Okay. Huh. What is what are we speaking? Oops. World card, okay? Could be talking about travels with someone. Could be talking about someone coming to see you or you going to see someone. There could also be like um, completion, like something is going to be coming to an end. We cannot do this anymore. It doesn't feel like an end of a relationship. It just feels like we cannot do this anymore. Like something we're doing, it needs to come to an end. And it's a lesson learned, right? It's like, it's, it's only making the situation better. But it seems like someone just does not want to take the hint. It's not even a hint. Someone is not very accepting of this ending. Clarify the five of wands. Hopefully y'all not breaking up with anybody. It doesn't feel like a breakup. It just feels like space. I need space. All right, six of pentacles. Interesting. So five of wands. So someone's conflicted about that six of pentacles. Someone is like ever dealt with someone and maybe you've been this person before i'm pretty sure we've all been this person before where we don't like what someone's saying so we're not listening to comprehend comprehend we're listening to debate to argue that's what this feels like 
And it's because of the Six of Pentacles. So it almost feels like someone just, you know, they could be very generous with their time, their affection, their money. And they're almost expecting that out of their counterpart or whoever this person is. Um, but it's like this person didn't promise to be that person. It's like, you know, you may do that, but I didn't ask you to do that. You know, I didn't ask you to, for example, someone could be arguing like, well, every this week I made you dinner and I brought it to your house and this is how you treat me. And it's like, well, I never asked you to do that, sweetheart. Okay. I never asked you to come over here and, you know, say that you made me fried chicken, but it tastes a lot like Popeye's. But you said you cooked it, so we're going to just go with what you said. I never told you to come over here and bring me that. Okay. okay. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful for this, but I didn't ask you to do that. So <laughs> it's giving that, like someone's like, really, like not listening to comprehend, listening to argue, okay? Mm. So there does seem like there's a little dispute here that's going to really grind some gears. It could really grind your gears, Aries, because you are literally... You are the epitome of lighting a fire. So someone says something is going to be some shit, okay? And that's just how it goes. So I feel like you're the one who's getting more riled up. But it's almost like the person who that's their, you know, that's what their um, intention is. So don't give them that energy, you know? It's kind of like stay calm, mature the whole time and let them go about their merry way, okay? All right. Let's see where. Give me where for Aries lifestyle. Give me where. Give me where. Oops. All right, I only needed two cards, but I guess we're going to get a three. We have the chariot, two of swords, and the emperor. All right, with the chariot and the emperor, this seems like it could happen at work for a lot of you, okay, with your own boss. Or if you're a boss with your own, like, supervisor, or someone who's so close to you and hears you, they really, you know, it feels like this person really like wants the best for you with that two of swords, two of swords, two of swords is the card I'm looking at right here. Looks like you and this person are headed to a place of no communication, unfortunately, but you know, I don't think it's going to stay that way. Um, but there does, there is this energy of like, you know, where being at work with that chariot. Okay. Cause there's some here, especially with the chariot, with the emperor, that sees a lot for you. They want the best for you. They want you to go so far. Um, but that emperor also gives boss energy, okay? This is Cancer Aries energy, by the way. But also where this is headed is there could, I already spoke about this in Aquarius's reading. Um, so if you have Aquarius in your chart, you definitely want to go watch that reading or dealing with one. But it does feel like someone, this is going to st um, setting structure within a connection. Like, hey, I need structure. Um, you know, I'm making the next moves. I don't need you to be around influencing my moves. I'm taking control back. Okay. And that chariot is like, this makes me feel like I'm going to be way more successful if you would just kind of back off a little bit. Okay. With that chariot. I think someone likes that. Two of swords. They're like, mm -mm. no, you didn't. I know Aries didn't just say that to me. Okay. But yes, they did. All right. <laughs> That's where it's headed. So you know, I don't feel like you're losing a friend or a lover or a family member. I feel like you could be setting someone in their place and they might like it, but you don't have to like it as long as you understand it. So that's kind of the energy. It's like setting boundaries, okay? All right, so that's your life. I'll go into your love. Oh, not love. Sorry. I'm jumping the gun. Let's go into your money, okay? Let's see what's going on with my Aries money. All right, what's going on with my Aries with their money? Who is Aries when it, when it comes to their money? Who is Aries when it comes to their money in this current energy? Who is Aries when it comes to their money? Okay, the emperor. You don't play around. You make the best money. You, you become the most abundant when you're in a certain routine. And you like that routine. It's repetitive. It's easy. That's how you work best. If you are getting disrupted within your routine by outside influences, that's something that will really agitate my Aries, okay? All right, so good for you. You also have this routine where you like to be independent. You don't, you know, if you need help, you're asked for help, you'll get help, but you're more of that person who likes to work on projects alone. 
Okay. You know, in school when it's like, oh, it's your buddies, it's like, I have to work alone. And if you do have to work with other people, you would like for people to be in their own routines where you have to babysit people where you don't have to look over their shoulder and see if they're really doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's the kind of money relationship like, okay? So for example, if you are someone who has been helping someone with finances and it's, you have to also, after you give them the finances, you have to look over their shoulder or you have to go and pay their bills because who knows what they're going to do with the money if you give them. That's putting a strain on your relationship with this person of wanting to even help them out because it's like, okay, I'm already helping you and funding the process. But if I look over your shoulder to see if you're actually doing what is so easy to do, I'm going to really get ticked off. So there's an energy like that going on. I don't know if you are helping someone financially or you're just like taking care of someone where they don't have to do much when it comes to bills. Um, but they're just not getting their shit done. That's very irritating for you. It's really um, starting to put a strain on a relationship. Okay. What else am I doing with this for energy? I have something else to say. Um, routine. You really need to get back into routine. If you've just been winging it and just doing whatever you want to do, that doesn't work for you. Unfortunately, it just does not. You're not one of those people who can just wake up and just do what feels right. You need to have that set routine. You need to have your alarm set. You need to have, you know, um, whatever breakfast is your favorite and it's easy. That's what you're making in the morning. Skip out on your coffee. If you know that's what keeps you pumped up, you know, really that routine is really going to help you because I feel like there's a strategy to your success. Okay. STS, strategy to success. So remind yourself that Aries. STS, STS, dream of me, STS, strategy to my success. So if I'm feeling not abundant, if I'm feeling out of place, if I'm feeling like I'm slacking, there's a strategy that maybe I haven't been using that works and I need to just stick to, okay, with the emperor. But I like that you're the emperor because you're an accountable, very independent person. That's very sexy, whether you're feminine or masculine. I think that's sexy on you. I think that's really great trait to have, okay? All right, one more card. All right, the high priestess. Okay, when it comes to your money, you also do not like people in your business, okay? And I don't know if there's someone trying to be in your business when it comes to your money, and it could be a little bit annoying because it's like, don't ask me in my business if you're not going to help me or advance me or make me better. That could be how you feel. Hmm. I also feel like, yes, you do not want to tell too many people about your money, whether it's doing well, whether you want to be doing more better, whether it's really slacking right now and you're not really proud. You don't want to tell people that, you know, even if, because I almost get this energy of like, um, what do you call it? Like a soul circle where people are just sitting around talking about their money, what bills they're behind on you know, what their debt is. And it's like, it seems very like open, like, okay, everybody's sharing what they got going on. And then when it comes to you, all eyes are on you and you're like, well, everybody else shared. Maybe I should share. Don't. Just because your friends jump off a bridge, are you going to jump off the bridge? Yes. Because it's almost like, you know, people will bait you. And, um, some, some circles are not sacred. You know what I mean? So, I wouldn't say too much because it almost feels like it would be used against you maliciously, like gossip. I don't know getting that. Okay. Especially if you are about to get um, a new opportunity coming in and you feel very proud of yourself for gaining this opportunity. And, you know, I feel like people don't, people don't deserve your generosity of your secrets or, you know, your, strategies even because the emperor and the high priest gives like don't even share your strategy with people because people are not using it because you know they look up to you they do look up to you but it's more so i want what aries has even if what you have is not all that but people think so let them think that okay all right so that's who you are when it comes to your money let's see what is going to happen when it comes to my aries money what's happening with my aries money what can Aries expect to happen with their money coming soon? Oh, getting those double messages again, Emperor. 
if you get onto that routine or if you create a routine for yourself or a strategy for yourself and you stick to it religiously, obediently, you keep yourself accountable, you're going to be doing some big things. And I'm hearing big numbers. So I don't know if someone's like an accountant or someone works with numbers or your job favors numbers or, you know, maybe you're like a, you do trade, okay? You know what type of trade I'm talking about. Like numbers, okay? You're doing numbers. I'm, I'm hearing digits by um, the, hmm. Yeah, Ace of Wands, okay? I also think that you're finding inspiration from something around you. So podcasts, uh, maybe your favorite YouTuber, like not me. <laughs> kidding, just kidding. Um, but like someone who's like a guru, someone who's very inspirational, someone who looks like they've achieved what you're influencing. Watching those things are going to motivate you like crazy. You might think, yeah, I watched those, but I never felt moved. <laughs> okay. Remember, this is a prediction. You're going to watch something this week that's going to move you. You're going to feel like, oh my God, like this is a bag in my back. So podcasts, like I said, um, if you're a visual learner, make sure you're watching those YouTube videos where people are talking to you. You can see what they are doing, what, what their sponsorships are now because people believe in them. Something is like motivating you and inspiring you like never before. And it's making you very passionate about, about what you are doing or what you want to do. And it's really encouraging you to stay within a routine and help hold yourself accountable. And I think that is also like um, giving you premonitions about what your future of success, being so successful, being so paid, being so um, high valued, what's to come for you. Okay. So this is like, so oh, is there like a flash before your eyes of your future life, you know? When you get that ace of pentacles, that ace of cups, that ace of wands, it's like the very big steps. It may not mean much, but it's the seed that grows into what you are capable of and just will prize you. It's almost like, you know, when you do find bigger success down the line, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already experienced lots of success, but you want more and you should want more to evolve. It's almost like this is the pivotal moment that you'll look back on when you reach those goals and you'll be like, oh, I want that podcast that motivated me. You know, I remember when Dream told me um, strategy for my success, you know, like, are things that I will remember that were so small to me in the very moment where I experienced it, but it means everything to me now when I've made it. So don't skip out on this. It's a good feeling. Knight of Pentacles is your energy, but temperance as well. Knight of Pentacles is a very dedicated, dependable, reliable person to other people, but most importantly to themselves. I can depend on myself that I'm going to get up and make dreams happen. I'm reliable. So when I say I'm going to do something, I know by the end of the week that shit got done. Um, you know, I'm dedicated to my success. I have a lot of success in that pentacle energy of being this king of pentacles, being this queen of pentacles, someone who's so stable, so wealthy, so abundant. But it starts somewhere, and I know it's going to take some time, but I'm not someone who is expecting overnight success. And because of that, I will be rewarded so big and I'll be so happy that I stuck it through. Knight of Pentacles. Temperance is all about staying in a balanced place. So people, things, situations, energies that make you feel very uncomfortable, not like yourself, pull you off of your path. Um, anything that really disturbs your mental health that makes you feel drained, sad, um, heartbroken, um, angry. You do not want to mix with those energies at this time or ever, you know, and you'll have boundaries. If that is not making me feel really good about myself, is that if that's stressing me out, if that's making me feel like I'm second guessing myself, I can't hang with these people. I can't be in that relationship. I can't go to those places. Okay. All right. Let's see where, when it comes to money, where, just tell me where, two cards for where. Judgment is coming out, okay. Hmm. I feel like where is like gonna end up somewhere where you were felt like you were judged so much. 
Um, you felt like you could not catch a break. You were judged so heavily, but it's actually going to become a home for you or give you your dream when it comes to your money. So that could be like a job, of course. Maybe it's even like, you know, for those of you who are business owners, entrepreneurs, you may have walked in a room, a networking group that was just so judgmental, you think. It really is is kind of, it's like wherever these this place is for you, you're going to actually, you know, make your dreams come true with that 10 of cups. And it's because you could have felt the energy of being judged. You could have felt the energy of like people maybe didn't like you. You didn't fit in. You felt comfortable. But if you stick it through, it really thickens your skin for the rooms that you're supposed to be in. I feel like the rooms that you want to be in areas, you're going to be judged. You're going to be looked at as, you know, maybe people are like, um, like second guessing you, not thinking that you're capable, not thinking that you're going to stick it through, not thinking you're tough enough, you're smart enough, not thinking that you're dedicated enough. But all of this is really pushing you to where you want to be. And it's never going to be easy. And there's always going to be critics. So with that judgment, it's almost like you're getting a second chance at something. But this time, you won't let the critics um, like deter you. Or you won't let the critics have much on your how you feel about yourself. Because you know who you are. So it's almost like a, a room or a, a job, an office, a networking group. There's an energy of where you are being watched for your actions and how you handle pressure. That's where you're going to thrive. Or out of that, you're going to get an opportunity of a lifetime with that Ten of Cups. So very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Three of Swords. You felt very disappointed. You felt hurt. You felt misunderstood. But it's all going to come full circle. I promise you that, okay? Not a bad energy. All right, let's move on to your love. Guys, I will be doing an extended reading for your love portion to go deeper into your love life. So if you're interested in that, the links will be in the description box down below. But let's get started with your love. Let's see who. All right, so who is this person in Aries' love life? Who is this person or this is Aries? How is Aries in their love life? Give me some cards. Who? Who's the most influenced person? Who's doing the most influencing over Aries' love life at this time? death card it could be a scorpio or someone that something ended so this could be an ex okay um yeah someone promoted you to change okay whether that was through pain heartbreak or just maybe someone who's coming in your life that is positive and they're one they're making you want to change for the better too all right let's see five of pentacles interesting there could be someone who left you out in the hole that is an X with the death card, five of pentacles. There could be someone here who, in a positive way, promoted you to change, but maybe they're feeling very left out of the cold from you. But it also could be a very dependent person. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups. So this is someone that, you know, you guys have a lot of love for each other, and it could actually go, if it hasn't already, all the way, all right, which is like marriage, children, family, blah, blah, blah. Can I find a death card, please? All right, Seven of Swords. Ooh. Some of you guys, if this is an ex, this is definitely someone who was being kind of sneaky towards the end of things, and they could be trying to come and make their way back down. Some of you guys, this could be someone who you promoted change in their life or they promoted change in your life for someone to change. So whoever was a very sneaky person, Whoever was a very like, you know, I date who I want to. I'm not looking for monogamy. I'm telling you the truth because these hoes don't tell the truth. If whoever was in that energy, it's like when you guys met each other, someone's changed so much better, okay? And I don't know whether that's you or this person. It doesn't really matter, but you'll know who I'm speaking about. All right. And then what's the five of pencils? All right, Three of Cups. This is someone who values your alone time together, the bond that you guys have. They feel like you guys have much fun. There's a lot of attraction. And this person could feel very, like, left behind at times when you guys are not spending time together ever. But for the most part, this person is very feels very positive about this connection. But right now, they're feeling really left out in the cold, and we'll see why, okay? Um, let's see. What is happening in 
Aries love life at this time. What's happening in Aries life at this time? King of Wands. Okay, so if you're masculine Aries, you're all the rave. You're looking really good. That body's looking right and right. Okay, um, you know you're making the honeys fall. Okay, but you also have a very you're so motivated to getting what's next for you. That could be in your career, in your lifestyle. That could be with networking. That could be like with your family. You just have goals that you really put before love, possibly, okay? And that's just the kind of person you are. If you're a feminine Aries, this is who, um, you know, this is what is happening in your love life right now. You could be highly attracted or dating or this person is coming back around. Um, they could be an Aries like yourself, a Sag or a Leo, so fire on fire energy. But yeah, there's a masculine here who knows what they want. They're going to get it, but they all can put their goals above love, okay? And that could be making someone feel very, like, ignored with that four of pentacles. Hmm. All right, what else is happening in Aries' love life at this time? What is What else is happening? The hermit, okay, it does seem like there is no communication between you and this person. There does seem like um, someone going in, you know, someone's like all the way focused about themselves and what they want, and it takes a lot of alone time. Someone wants some alone time. That's why I get this reading, okay? There's an Aries out here who wants more alone time, but they're trying to figure things out. They're trying to like, you know, go really deep within the pool, and that takes being alone and having some breathing time to themselves. But there is like no communication happening between you and this person. It's interesting. Clarify the King of Wands. That Four of Pentacles, okay? It's almost like someone is so focused on their goals, you know, and um, what, what, most, what they want to accomplish. They don't have a lot of time to date or give um, affection to the person that they are dating. This could cause arguments, okay? And what's the hermit? Hermit is a 10 of swords and a page of swords. So there's no communication because there was a painful ending or something was headed to a painful ending. So it's like, let's just stop speaking before we stop speaking for good. Okay, that's what it was getting. And then it's a page of swords. So like, okay, we're not speaking, but I'm watching. So you could be watching Aries. This person could be watching as well. Y'all could be watching each other. If I'm watching you and I'm also trying to figure you out. I'm trying to see what's tea with you, what's up with you. I'm trying to see if you're in the right mind, okay? Because you kind of went off on me. I'm just trying to see what's the tea right now, okay? That's what it's giving. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little break between you and this person. Doesn't seem like an ending. Seems like it's headed to an ending. Like if we didn't separate immediately, we were not ever going to speak to each other again. So there's a break here. This break could be coming to a close for sure. So we're going to see what's going on with that. Let's see where this love is headed, where your love life is headed from Aries. Where, where, give me the where portion for love for Aries. Where, where, tell me a location or tell me where it's it. All right, seven of cups, having your options for sure. So there's more options coming your way, more people seeing you, okay? And the page of pentacles. There's also this energy of disconnecting um, from someone because you may not feel like you want to put your all. I don't know. There's this energy with that page of pentacles. came out in Aquarius reading. But just to be in a different energy, I feel like, you know, you could be not really in this energy of wanting to commit to something or you're taking your time before decide whether to commit to this or not. This could be if you are single and dating, you're not someone who's going to just rush into a commitment. If you are dealing with someone past, you could be looking at other options. And with the Page of Pentacles, you're like, OK, it's, you know, let me see if this is even worth investing at this because I'm now brings me all the way back to where I don't feel like if I have connected to you in a way where I was committed, just didn't like the best outcome. It didn't bring me a lot of positivity. There's also that energy from your money where it came from. I do see a lot of my focus on their goals, their career, their money. And there is this energy in your um, money portion, which was temperance, which talks about staying in a positive mindset. So it's kind of like, ugh, if I invest in this, is this gonna F up my mind all over again? 
Is this going to make me feel sad, depressed? Is this going to put me through a drama and grief? I don't want to do that. So I'm just kind of taking my time here. Hmm. Will of Fortune. So there's definitely some major changes coming towards your life. And that's what I'm seeing. Of course, we'll go deeper into this in the extended reading. Let me see about the Seven of Cups. Just do that really quickly. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay. Hmm. It's like, okay, I, I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to have my guard up towards people I'm dating. And if I'm fighting with someone that I've been dating, and clearly it's not working, let's see what these other options are talking about, okay? So some of you who are single or just broke up with someone, it's like, this person could be trying to come back, but I feel kind of guarded towards you. So there's a lot of people who are interested in me. Maybe I should give them a chance. What's the page of pentacles? At a higher end. It's almost like someone could be coming in or these, or there's some new options coming in that find you very favorable. They can see themselves in various commitment with you down the line. But it's like, listen, you know, before I even decide if I'm going to take that gamble and commit to a person, I need to make sure that it's a, a favorable outcome. I need to make sure that this is actually what I want to do, that I can see myself doing this, that it's going to be healthy for me. There's a lot of like, Someone's really thinking like, you know, does this fit align with my values right now? Does this align with where I want to be? Okay. So, so I feel like you're putting your mental health and your um, happiness on top. Okay. Which I love that for you. Again, we will go deeper into the love life portion and talk about, you know, who's coming towards you, their current feelings, next actions, the outcome. All of that will be an extended reading link or in the description box down below. Before we go to that extended reading, I do want to get your last words, of course. All right, give me the last words, please. Last words for my Aries dealing with this situation. Oops, come on. Y'all. One second. All right, give me some last words for my Aries dealing with the situation, please. Give me some last words for my Aries dealing with the situation. Let's see what comes out for you, Aries. One more. Okay. Bottom of the deck says, oh, okay, it's in reverse. I have no plans on changing, okay? So I don't know if someone felt that way, like someone just was not trying to change at all. Um, like they're very stubborn, very like hangman energy, um, just being very stubborn, stay, staying stuck in their ways. But I feel like someone's having a change of heart, maybe because they're going to lose you, okay? We do have manipulator here. Threesome is here, okay? Threesome could also be third party. Um, can't sleep. I'm not letting this go. We have friends first. October, Libra, or Scorpio you could be dealing with. October could be very significant. July, Cancer, or Leo. This month, July could have been very significant. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. We have Libra in here. Libra is very dry right now, okay? Sorry. We have Sagittarius here. Look, look at all these options coming your way, okay? I wasn't lying about that. We have not letting you go. Wait, didn't we already have that? It came out twice. So someone is seriously not letting this go. So we already had I'm not letting this go, and then we have not letting you go. So someone's being very serious about this, okay? They are not playing with you. Um, we have I'm horny. <laughs> winter is coming out for some reason. And I don't know if someone's name is Winter. And we also have kids. Okay, so kids could be very significant in a situation. Maybe there's someone that you know that has kids coming towards you. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to let that go. I'm going to leave it here. Um, 
I am going to take this extended links in the description box down below. I also offer personal readings for those of you who are interested. That link is in the description box down below as well. Go check out our new energy clearing sprays. They're amazing. They smell great and they work really well. Go check that out. Link is in the description box down below as well. Make sure you guys like the reading. It really helps me out a lot. Also, comment down below. Let me know about your situation and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next one, Aries. Um, definitely want to subscribe. Put your notification bell on because I will be going live. So you don't want to miss that. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll see some of you guys in extended. If I don't, no worries. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I might kill my ass.